Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we are taking a look at the newest character in WWE Champions, and it's someone that everybody was asking for, surely. Um, it's another Triple H, uh, DX Army, so I guess we have a DX Army Sean, and we have Triple H and Sean as DX characters, but we didn't have a DX Army Triple H. Um, let's go to the left, carry the one. Yeah, so now we have a Triple H. Uh, he is a ruthless aggression, uh, um, aggressive technician. Don't be fooled by the Attitude Era logo. He is ruthless aggression. A coach at 15k, received 20% less damage from reinforced gems. Links. Uh, Degeneration X, purple moves start with two more move points, which is um, great because he does not have purple moves. Uh, DX Army, any color moves start with two more move points. Ruthless Aggression, matching any color gems, charge moves of that color by one more move point. Uh, he does have gear. I do not have it equipped for this preview, but uh, one gear will give you X-Break gems do 100% more damage, and having both... All color moves that deal damage will deal 200% more damage. Um, can we look at them? So that's just, like, no pants. I guess he wasn't wearing pants before. No knee pads. And uh, even less clothing. So those are the gears, which, again, I don't have. Um, I have about four builds I want to show in this preview. I might see some stuff as we go. Um, but he is a trial character this week, so everybody gets to test him out at Five Star Bronze. You can get his gears by doing the tour, and then test him out with the gears. Uh, first thing we're going to take a look at is a three-star build. It is double green with black one. Uh, so finisher, pedigree, 10 MP, deal 205,000. 835 damage. Choose 9 gems to destroy and pin the opponent. Green 2, Flowing DDT, 8 MP, deal 93,290 damage, and deal 92,107 bleed damage to your opponent for 3 turns. And Black 1, the Facebreaker Knee Smash, 5 MP, deal 190,127 damage, and increase your green MP by 9. Uh, so move damage is really nice. This would be an ideal time for a green finisher um, trainer not named Doink. Um, an actual proper 150% one would be nice, but alas, it does not exist. Entourage, uh, Striker Woods. This is the replacement for Bray Wyatt. For more black MP, uh, Striker Seth for 66% more damage on the bleed. We're going with Acro J for 10% more damage on the green moves. And then Kyrie for more bleed damage, just to see how everything scales up. Um, without you don't even need tour perks for this to be um, a turn one load, which is nice. For the belt, we are going full fury. I don't have a green percent in fury, uh, but I do have a rainbow that has some green percentage substats, so that's what we're gonna go with. The move damage could be a lot higher. Um, and we can't really start off a DX army preview without the DX plate. Uh, so 50% chance to create two random X break gems each time you use a signature move or swipe a gem. Two words for you. Preview starting. I wonder... If we do a tag match with DX Army Sean, do they do that intro together? My money's on no, but I will absolutely test it out. Just because I need to see it. Uh, so, Facebreaker Knee Smash. We're getting like 53% more damage to all of our moves with that rainbow metal, which I wish would scale, but it does not. Two words play triggered. Uh, 175,000 bleed damage for three turns. Plate did not trigger again, that's fine. I uh, got the finisher up to just about 320,000. Choose nine gems to destroy. If he had the gear, these would be doing 100% more damage. Um, 
but we don't. We don't need to break that one because that's going to break there. Hmm, that's going to break, that's going to break, that's not going to break. I want to make sure to get black gems. Well, I guess we only need four. Four, and then we'll get green because that's the primary color. Explode the board a little bit. 550,000. Nothing to write home about, but this is a three-star move, so bear with us. <laughs> Kick out of that, no problem. Now this is nice because we can double stack the bleed. Maybe this will trigger the plate a couple times? Nope. Yay! Can we do it a second time? Nope. Alright. Well, that was fun. Uh, but we've stacked the bleed twice, and now we're going to blow up the board. Ta-da! So, like, not even 600k. Uh, but the bleed damage is kicking in to reduce his kickout value. So we did end up pinning him and keeping him down. That's one way to run him. You could do Santa Hogan instead of Kyrie Sane. I think I would actually forego the bleed trainers. With that build. Uh, because the bleed is not... You're not doing, like, a million damage per bleed, so maybe I would just do move damage, gem damage. Uh, but that is one three-star build. Let's look at a second. Second three-star build we're going to take a look at. Uh, takes out the bleed move, brings in black two, which is the short arm clothesline. 5 MP, deal 210,023 damage, and move the pin bar left by four notches. Um, so that moving of the pin bar is not going to be super significant for this build since we're running it with the finisher, but the move damage is substantial. Um, it's more than the finisher itself. So we're going to just run that. Entourage, we took out Seth and Kyrie for Godfather, who gives us 30% more damage to green moves and 20% more damage to black moves. Um, you could do Striker Dean. For 45% to the black. I kind of like getting a little bit of both. And um, everybody has Godfather or should. He's been, you know, fairly given out recently. So I like using that option. And bringing in Santa Hogan. Uh, I have mine at 9k now with the event going on. But even, you know, 600 to all gems is going to help a little bit. So that is how we're running him, keeping the belt the same with the DX plate. So this is all ready to go. Just gonna hit this for a little bit of move damage. Maybe trigger the plate. Of course not, because I asked for it. That didn't trigger the plate either. Okay, so these are both five charged, so we only need to destroy um, four black gems. We'll do that. And then just grab a bunch of greens because primary color, do some damage, etc., etc. Go ahead, Alistair. Go ahead. Let him do his thing. Alright, alright, alright. Get out of that. And do it all again. 
This is where having um, both of the gears would be clutch because these moves are very strong. And again, we're using a rainbow metal. You could do a black percent. You could do a green percent. Um, you could use Striker Dean instead of Godfather. I tried to even it out as much as possible. Uh, we'll get that black gem and that black gem. So we only need to break those two. Ah, uh, why not? Target green and black. A little more from... There we go. There's a nice cascade. 874,000. All right, that is an alternate three-star build. If you don't have the two words plate, you can use a blue bomber. You could use a chaotic blast. You could use a cheap shot. Um, you don't really need one that gains MP. There isn't one that's green to black anyways. So anything that gives you a little bit more board destruction, I think would be the play here. Uh, let's change things up and go look at a four-star build. The four-star build we're going to take a look at brings in both of the yellow moves, including a submission. So, you know, I got some medjimication coming up. Uh, yellow one is the inverted Indian Deathlock, 7 MP color submission. Choose eight gems to make into green submission gems and do 123,421 damage for three turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining submission gems turn into multiply gems of strength four. And yellow two, the four star move, is a spine buster, eight MP. Deal 96,497 damage and make 21 random gems into X break gems. Um, so, like I said, I had to do it. I had to do it. Um, with the feud perks, 200% on your submissions, three more turns. Taking our base of 123,421, and we're adding 270%. So you have 200 from perks, 50% from Tech Drew, 20% from Acro Shelton, giving us 456,657 damage. 10 turns, so three turns for the base, three turns for perks, uh, three turns from Zombie AJ Styles, and an extra turn from Tech Drew for 10 turns. Submission is just doing upwards of 4.5 million damage in a feud. Again, that is max defensive perks uh, with the way that perks currently are. Um, and you would do Kofi as your epi trader, so you could do Zombie AJ, Tech Drew, Acro Shelton, no issues. And it will recycle. Uh, so the Entourage we're going to use for this, Kofi to get going on turn 1, and then Slick Rick for 20% more damage to all gems, Santa Hogan for flat 2200, and I'm going to put Zombie Kane on here. I know mine's not leveled up a whole lot, but he's going to give us a little more damage to the X-Breaks, and since we're covering about half the board it, with X-Breaks gems, that just gives us a little more damage. Um, at 9k, he would give us an extra gem. If you have... Um, the gear. That would make it a lot stronger. Again, this preview is without the gears. And for the belt, I've kept Fury, and I'm going to do this with an all heart plate. Whenever you generate three or more submission gems, increase your green and purple gem damage by 100% for two turns. We are leaving behind multiply gems of strength four on green gems. Um, if you're worried about recycling the yellow, uh, you can always do a shock the system. Whenever you break three or more green gems, make seven black into yellow at the end of your turn. Heavy machinations is the backwards effect. Um, but I feel like we're going to be blowing up so much of the board. If anything, the finisher will refill itself with the multiply gems of strength four. And uh, let's see how this goes. So, sub ready to go. We're going to put the sub out first. We'll do that, actually. And give ourselves that little four break. And let's just put some green gems over there.
kind of a slow um, move animation, but it does look really cool. Um, do we do dumb stuff here? Do we try to double stack? I think we're going to try to double stack. Sorry. Shiny things. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Alright. Sorry. I, I'm a, I'm a glutton for punishment. I want to see if we can double stack this. He's probably going to pin us and it's going to not work, but... Whatever. Don't do it, Alistair. Don't do it! Hey. Okay. Uh, so 42,000. 170,000. Spit out our random X breaks. I don't believe they'll override the multiply gems. No. Cool! Uh, so 42... 44 with the um, extra damage from Zombie Kane. 170, and then the finisher. We're just going to pick off a couple gems here. We only really need to break one, I think. I think. But, you know, play it safe. We'll play it safe. That should be everything. Yeah! That's better! That's more like it. Like 2.5 million damage. I had to double stack because it was available, but you don't have to. You don't have to. So that was fun. Um, but speaking of fun... There's a 5-star build, which looks very fun. Let's go see what that does. Alright, so do you remember uh, when we did th the Black 2 move and I said um, it wasn't all that useful for the build we were trying? Uh, now it's useful. The 5-star move is uh, its being called a pedigree, but it's not... hold on. Sometimes when they have a trial character and we have both of them on our roster, one of them looks better than the other. Yeah. Jumping high knee is the move, not pedigree. Pedigree is the finisher. Um, so it's the jumping high knee, even though it shows as a pedigree. A little frustrating, but... Now I gotta go all the way back. I'm not going to accidentally do it with the trial, because that would be bad. Okay. And we're back. So the jumping high knee pedigree, uh, 8 MP, is the 5 star move. Deal 91,334 damage and choose a 1 by 7 area to swap into, you guessed it, black gems. Um... So this is similar to uh, live spam and stuff all around. We are going to use um, Striker Woods for black MP. I'm bringing in Striker Dean for more black move damage. Um, Acro J for 10% on the green. I have Gooker. I realize not everyone has Gooker. I'm not going to use them for this. Uh, Santa Hogan just for a little more damage. And you could go full takedown. Um, I suck with Fury. But I did bring in a black percent metal, and I have no plate. And I may or may not manifest a chic plate for black moves. Um, if that is the case, this moveset just got insane. Uh, like I said, similar to Live, but just with a different color scheme. Um, so if that plate ever comes out, Triple H is going to run Ragsha. And this, again, this is without the gear. This is without the gear. So this could get absolutely nuts. Um, let's see. I, you know what? It may even be better than live. I know I haven't even done it yet, but you get to choose the area. So And then to reload it, you're gaining MP. Or you're not spamming random gems everywhere. So 
while cascades are probably still going to happen, you get a lot more control. So and, and I'll just shut up. Let's just keep, let's just go try it. Okay, so we'll start by moving the pin bar back. And then increase your green MP by 9. We're doing just about like half a mil with these moves. Again, takedown, you could increase the damage a lot more. This is not actually the pedigree. Oh, it is! They actually coded it as a pedigree. Well... What do I know? I'm just a content creator. Uh, I hate how many black gems are on the board right now. Absolutely hate it. Because the wild card is going to drop and cascade into that. If we go here, we make another freaking wild card. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Let's go here. Ooh, bless. All right. Now we're putting out seven gems and only moving the pin bar back four, so we will eventually pin. But the question is, can we drain the health before that? Mm. Man, I... I hate this. There's so many black gems on the board. But we're getting very lucky. The problem is now we're just accumulating wildcard gems at the bottom of the board, which means something's gonna go boom. But you could avoid all of this if you just spend 99 99 on both of his gears. God. Damn, oh, whatever. Let's just go in the middle. Maybe that's enough. Rip. Rip. That board sucks, but you get the point. You get the point. You would just cycle back and forth. So we'll let Alistair have his little moment of fun. And then we'll just, you know, break his hopes and dreams. Goodbye, hopes and dreams. Goodbye. Oh, and a critical for good measure. Ta-da! That's how that works. And again, that's without the gears, and maybe they make a plate uh, for black moves similar to the scimitars of the Sheik. We shall see. Let's conclude the preview. So that wraps up our first look at Triple H DX Army. Again, Ruthless Aggression uh, Technician... Coach ability, 15k, receive 20% less damage from reinforced gems. He does come with two gears, which I currently do not have equipped. Um, X breaks do 100% more damage. All color moves that deal damage will deal 200% more damage. So stay tuned for the preview with gear. Um, I do like to separate them. More content, yay! Uh, but let me know what you think. He is a trial character this week. You should have him on your roster maxed out at five star bronze there is a trial tour for him where you can unlock his gears and test him out that way uh let me know what you think in the comments of this video how did you end up running your trial what do you think about the 15th triple h in the game um i did not do a tag match to see the tag link and the intro what am i doing what am i doing here I am, you know, doing my whole exit spiel, and I just completely didn't do the tag match. Um, where is it? On today's episode of Content Creators Struggling. Yeah, this is, this is how it's gonna go, huh? 
Excellent. Let's go! I just want to see. Boo! Not impressed that they didn't do the thing in the middle of the Come on! I know I said this last preview I did. Like, remember when tag teams would actually come out with their tag team entrances? That would have been so cool. That would have been so cool. Uh, but the DX army link that benefits nobody in this situation. Other than it looks cool. Or sorry, Degeneration X link. But we'll just chip away. Keep everything off to the sides to reduce any potential cascading. This is what I meant to do earlier, by the way. Yay! It worked. Okay. That's what I meant to do the first time. I'm just one content creator. There we go. Alright. So, sad face on the tag entrance, but, um, yeah, he got a bonus match out of me. So again, let me know in the comments, what do you think of this new Triple H? How did you end up running the trial? Any other feedback, concerns, questions? Ooh, 10 black TP. Jackpot. Uh, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Stay tuned for the preview with gear. And thank you for being a friend.